I know what you guys are here for, so I will start off with Online Imposter 3D. This is a horror game similar to Among Us. The twist is, you don't find the imposter, the imposter finds you. In this game, you must try to find the baby crewmates around the map and complete the task while trying to avoid imposters. As a crewmate, you can hide under the vents and tables, and you can also put a trap to stun the imposter, giving you time to run. The game has nice self shaded graphics, scary but not disturbing atmosphere, a variety of modes including PvE and PvP with original gameplay, as I mentioned earlier, and Mafia and High and Seed with Amomus gameplay. Overall, it's a good horror game with good replayability. Crimson Heart 2 This is an RPG game with only 7 MB but contains insane amount of content. The game has in-depth storyline revolving 4 characters who are in the war against demons and dragons. Even after beating the story, there are a lot of things that you can do in this game, like you can fight against other players in PvP, do non-repetitive daily quests, defeat increasingly powerful enemies in Infinity Tower, or get tons of loot and experience in dungeons. The story is enjoyable with good twists and likable characters. The replayability is great along with satisfying controls and good graphics. Turbo Tornado This is an open world racing game with cyberpunk atmosphere where you must race against the opponents as well as the clock. You must also try to outsmart the cop as the cop will be chasing you every time you win a race. I really like how well optimized this game is. The graphics look stunning and make me feel like I'm playing a console game. Not to mention the game is very smooth even on high graphics. Graphics aside, the game has responsive controls along with pretty large open world and plenty of missions. You can also use cash after the race to upgrade as well as buy a better vehicle. Overall, great graphics and great gameplay. <laughs> Matt Dickey is a very unique person in my opinion. Every game he has made is great but in a charming way with simple but memorable graphics, worky but in-depth gameplay. It never gets old no matter how many times he reuses assets and puts them onto an entirely new game. Anyway, this is, as you can see, a high school simulator. Obviously, you can study and have exams, but you can also go outside the school, explore the city, and do many things like going to the cinema. And you can also be the shy out of any character you hate, as long as you don't die or get put into principal office. Vita Fighters Graphics don't matter. If the game looks good but the graphics suck, then it's not worth playing. Anyway, this game has done way better job than the majority of fighting games on mobile. Easy to learn controls. 28 characters for free with some require us to be playable, simplistic but green backgrounds and character models. The game has drawbacks however, including lack of story and modes. Still, if you are looking for a free fighting game with engaging gameplay, then this game is for you. The Walking Zombie 2 I have played this game for a few years. You can know how much I enjoy this game just by looking at my progress. I'm in the North Town. My level is 87. I have upgrade brand along with lots of ammo and bandage. Anyway, this is an adventure RPG game, not survival game, with plenty of missions and lengthy but engaging fun storyline. You control the chosen one and you must save the world from zombie apocalypse. That's basically the entire story, but the content the game offers is so impressive that it can keep you hope for a long time. Zetsubo Games 
The reason I put all of the Zetsubo games in an entry is that they are very short. Some take around an hour to complete and some are demo version of the Steam. To compensate that depends on how the story is written and Zetsubo manage to do it well. Humanity must perish is an example. For the story, an android aka human robot wants to save the earth by killing every single human being. But before making the final decision, her creator requests her to spend a day with human beings so she can see whether they are capable of meaningful change or not. Everything is well done in this game, linear wide, great awkward, and the game even gives us valuable lessons in life. Currently, there are 6 visual novels in total, all of which offer unique experience. So if you enjoy visual novel games, then Death Subo games are for you. If that is your wish, Chiyo, then I... Arena of Valor Mobile Legends is more popular across the world, yes, but not in Vietnam. By collaborating with Arena, this game becomes an iconic face in Vietnam mobile world. One thing that I think is make Arena of Valor better than Mobile Legends is that the skin in AOV on pay to win. Skin with buff in ML rules the sense of competition, as player with skin have more advantage than those do not which is not the case in AOV. Anyway, I may support characters mainly Chodna. He's a tank with crazy good mobility and he can strip away the control of face from enemies like slow or stun by his ultimate. Overall, if you like a mobile game, then try this game out. Eternity. You have defeated an enemy! An ally has been defeated. An ally has been defeated. An enemy has been defeated. Double kill! Warriors of the Universe This is a fighting game with robust customization options including body parts, skills, and voice. With all these tools, you can create almost any kind of character in your mind. If you like Naruto, then the games offer you part to create Naruto. And if you get bored of this Naruto, then you can give him swords. You don't always have to follow Naruto law, just make your own characters and have fun. Thanks to that, you never get the same experience in PvP match, as each battle is entirely new opponent with different skills. There are also plenty of modes in both single and multiplayer. Evasion, which is survival mode, free battle for up to 8 characters in a match, adventure mode, and more. All of that for just 112 megabytes. This is my top 8 in terms of fighting games. Reflash. I love fresh games, so I cannot forget to put this app on the list. This app allows you to play a huge collection of flash games in every genre. We have State RPG, a simulator game, Sonic 1 and 2, turn based RPG. We have Minecraft at home. We also have Marvel Spider Man 2 at home, Harry's Steaming series. Oh, yeah, last night. Okay. And many, many more. Also, if you are a fan of flash game but you can find your favorite games, then download an SWF file and put it on upload a game sessions. Set the keyboard controls if necessary and done. The developer is still updating the app and uploading more games to play. So even if you don't play flash game, I would still recommend you to try this app. Before ending this video, here are some bonus games. Enjoy! Đó là một cơ hội Hành thắng
Great, Elador!